Welcome to The Great Search with DigiKey and Lady Ada. This is when Lady Ada goes to digikey.com and shows you all the things that she's really good at, including being able to search and find and help people maximize their potential on a search. Yes. All right. Okay. So, um, I'm, you know, I'm using this MBR 540, which I've specced in my design, a lovely little shocky diode. It's a 40 volt diode. I use this for a lot of uh, basic shocky needs. Why is it so high? Because I use it in some boost converters as well, and some of the boost converters go pretty high. So I, I use up to 40 volts. But when I went to DigiKey, it was out of stock, which is like I've never seen before. But like, you know, for whatever reason, this is out of stock. Um, what to do when your part is out of stock? This is a good thing to know. Well, first off, if there is a lead time estimation, you can click on the check lead time. And in this case, this is past due. And that happens, you know, like we order stuff, sometimes it doesn't ship when it's expected to, but this gives you an idea. Um, I have ordered parts and, you know, or wanted to order parts, I check the lead time and it says like, it's six months out. That, make, that makes me really think about, well, do I want to find like a totally alternative part? Um, or like, do I have to design some other, something else for my PCB? Because if it's three to six months, it might be easier for me to just redo the design. In this case, it looks like they were expecting to get it, um, and they didn't. Um, you know, there's lockdowns in various countries, shipping is delayed, could be a lot of reasons uh, why this part is unavailable. I will say sometimes parts are unavailable for back order. In this case, I could back order it, and it will ship whenever. Um, in, the, in the particular case of this week, I really needed the, the part in the next day. In that case, there's a new thing on DigiKey, and this, I think this is like new as of like this month or this week. I've never seen it before. And they actually give you substitution um, suggestions. And what's interesting is that um, they have direct and maybe similar um, substitutions. So in this case, this part, the MBR054, they're like, look, this, this is a generic diode. Um, just like the 1N4001 that you might be familiar with, or the 1N4148. This diode is also just a generic number diode, and it's available from multiple suppliers. This is from Micro Commercial, MCC, but you can also get it from OnSemi, um, in which case you'll want to verify just, you know, the package, it, you know, trust but verify. Yes, this is almost certainly a direct substitute, but you'll still want to make sure that you've got all the specifications specifications correct in this case there is like a half a million in stock so this is great um you can check the specifications down here these are like the quick quick specs and then of course the data sheet if you are looking for something in more detail i also tell you what to do if there isn't the direct substitution sometimes you're lucky in this case i was like that's really cool because i just picked up the substitute and i was good to go and let's say there isn't a substitute keep scrolling down and you'll see the product attributes section. In this case, you can see um, the attributes that it, you would select under search. And what you can do is you can click these to view similar. So for example, okay, let's say there, that new magical section didn't exist. I'd say, okay, well, I want a diode. I, I don't need it from MCC. I do need it to be tape and reel. I need it to be active. I need it to be a shocky diode. I want 40 volts uh, uh, voltage uh, reverse protection. I want 500 milliamps uh, current average rectified. Um, the voltage forward may vary a little bit, so I'm not gonna check that. I'm gonna say, yes, I want a fast recovery type. The reverse leakage also may vary a little bit and the capacitance may vary a little bit. So I want surface mount and uh, SOD 123, that's the physical package and the, the operating temperature. And then when I click view similar, it will pop up. In this case, only six results were similar. And you'll see, see how the um, voltage, one is like 550 and one is 510. You, you don't want to select all necessarily. You want to select the ones that are important to you. And then you can use the search uh, drill down to you know, ver you know, verify which of the other more variable attributes are important to you. And in this case, um, looks like basically it came up with almost the same things. You know, it's basically got uh, the on semiconductor, 
um, MBR 04, 054s. You can click in stock to get just the ones in stock and then pick up um, this diode, which will do the job for you. So this, this happens a lot as an engineer. I always tell people have multiple sources for each component because you never know. Uh, you know, we've had parts that we've purchased and then we find out like, oh, hey, that factory, you know, in the Philippines caught on fire because there's an earthquake. You're not going to get that part for four months. You know, that happens. And when they get back into business, I'm happy to purchase from them. In the meantime, you might want to have an alternative source. Um, so using the suggested alternative from DigiKey is a great way to make sure that your product isn't held back because something is out of stock. So it's like a four cent diode. Such a shame to hold back a $50 product because of four cents. All right, and uh, I think, you know, took a screenshot when you were showing me this one. This is really cool. We should talk about this. That's right. And uh, substitutes, powerful, trust but verify, keep going, don't let production halt. This That's has right. been another great search. Thanks, everybody. Bye, DigiKey and Lady Ada.